Is there any sound now? Okay. Is there any sound yet? Okay. So you can hear me now, Shaz. Okay, I've got no idea what I did. Um, what I do know is that I can't type at the moment. So that just makes it more and more fun. Okay, so apparently microphone or audio three is working. So let's come over and see. Okay, can you still hear? What I've got here is the um, my pre-done pieces. So because I don't want to bore you, what I've done Ah, oh, fabulous, I can actually um, see that you guys can hear me. So what I've done is I've just stitched together one side of the project this morning and I've stitched what will be the fold over flap um, just to make our life easier. I've also got vinyl and I've got my um, zipper all ready to go. So this is a quick stitch out. Now the other thing that's stuffed up in um, attempt to make everything beautiful and ready is um, my um, audio deck that lets me change cameras quickly. So I am just a little put off. Okay, yes, but soft. Okay. Let me see if I can do anything about that. Sorry, guys, I appreciate you guys staying with me. Okay. Now that might be because I'm not totally with it, Shaz. Let's see how we go. Okay, is that any better now that I am near the microphone? So, what I've got here, the first thing we're going to do is make up our um, zippered pouch. And there's only five colours to it. And the first colourway is going to stitch out and show us where we are going to place. Our zipper. And good morning, Lynn. How are you doing this morning? So at the moment, it looks like a standard zipper pouch, but what we're going to find is there won't be any attachment down the bottom here, so it makes it so much quicker to do. Oh, Shaz, I'm so pleased that's actually working. I really thought it would be an easy thing. I thought hubby and son would just plug everything in. Um, I'm off after this to go and buy a new USB hub. Okay, so I've got my zipper. It is the number three zipper. 
and I'm just going to lay that over the outline there now the reason I'm doing this one in denim is I thought it was a good way um, a to use up some scraps and B to use up some um, to be able to use a multicolored thread with it. Okay. So we've got lots of people in with us today. I've got no Naomi and Shaz. Thank you so much for talking with me through all of that. I can see we've got Jean Reed, Linny, Michelle. Um, thank you all so much for popping in today. So I've got a piece of vinyl. And look, I cut everything a little bit bigger just because most of the time I'm using up scraps. I can see we've got Jean Reed there. Good morning. Okay, so we are now up to the last colour. So I've got my vinyl on there. And what I'm going to do is take that quilted panel and we're going to lay that over the outline so that it becomes a the backing. The other thing that we need to put on, of course, is our lining. And I'm just going to take that off whilst I come and place my lining on the back here. Now, I am going to attempt and I will use the word attempt to just make sure because that is a linear design to keep that line straight. And then And you can see that attempt's already gone really, really well. That's better. And then that side down and just making sure that we cover the entire outline and that our zipper is in the correct position. And naturally it's a little bit bigger. I'm sorry guys, I can just see my thread has not picked up there. because I'm totally out of thread. That would probably explain it. Okay, what have we got here? No, so Sherry's asking, no tape? Look, I was hoping to get away with it, but I'm also noticing that it's moving. So what I'm going to do is come through and I'm actually going to pop on. Now, use tape if you've got it. Okay. 
I'm going to come through and just pop a magnet on the outside here to stop it from moving. And all I want to do with that magnet is make sure that it is out of the um, stitching area. Okay. So back to colorway four. And I could hold this down with the tape as well if I wanted to, um, or the magnets. everybody's week did you all sit and watch the um, the funeral for the Queen last night I've got to say I didn't closure at the bottom there and I am going to pull off all the stabilizer and magnets etc but the first thing that I want to do is just get the next design hooped so piece of stabilizer and we're going to come back over to our machine And we are going to load up the fascia cover. And this is just the front or back cover. It's exactly the same design. And it has four colors on it. So the first colour is going to show us exactly where we're going to place. Sorry, I'm just looking for the best camera angle for you guys. So exactly where we're going to place our fabric. And you'll notice that we've got two marks along here, they are going to become important to us when we're putting this project together or when we're putting the back on our project. And I've got my denim fabric. I'm going to pull that in. the second colorway. Ah, 
Uh, so Shaz watched the, the royal um, funeral. I, of course, checked to see what everyone was wearing. You know, the important things in life. So that's two of our four colourways. The next one is going to be doing the decorative quilting. Now you'll notice in this one, I have not used embroiderer's felt. And that is really just because um, with the thickness of the denim, I don't need it. But while that's doing its stitching, Let's come through. And look at what we've got here. And of course, we take our stabilizer away. part about taking that stabilizer away is that last um, or that first outline that we've got it just makes it a real pain in the neck once we've done that I'm going to trim and I've got my little press here Now, you never want to press straight onto your vinyl. So, come through, and I can see Tracy Gardner's with us as well. Good to see you, darling. through, remove the rest of that stabiliser as well as any excess threads and then we're going to start the pressing. both sides out and then oops. And I just want to make it as neat as I can. The worst thing with this is it really gets to a place where I keep on holding it in the wrong manner. Okay. So that is now our zipper pouch. And you can see there where our stitching ends. And I'm going to come through and trim that. So that I'm ready to pop it into the bag. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, the machine. Oh, that stitching's coming through
dog head. So this is the part that you want to see because it's all about how you put this cover part into the spine. Now, as I'd said this morning, I am a little um, discombobulated with having everything um, sort of um, not working as I've planned on it. Okay. So what I was just doing there was just checking to make sure that what I'm showing you is the right way. And what we are now going to do is put our notebook cover in. And if you need to finger press these little corner bits, that is absolutely fine here. Now, your bag can be as big or as small as you wish. You can come through and make a really small fold over if you only want to place in it your, um, you know, a couple of pens. Knowing myself, I want a little more than that. So I'm going to come through and set where I want that pouch to end. And then I'm going to come through and you'll notice that the pouch is just that little bit smaller than the, um, than the design itself. And then I'm going to come through and taking my lining fabric, place that along those markings that we've already made in the first step. And then we're going to come through and stitch the last set of stitching. Now the trick here is that you should not be along the sides stitching on any of the pouch. That is now our pouch put together. Now I can take that one out of the hoop and I can load up our next design, which is going to be our spine. Now, if I was doing this myself at home, and my largest hoop on this machine is the um, what are we talking? We're talking the nine by twelve is my largest hoop. Okay, so I'm going to use my curly spine and now 
we do have just one or two more things to think about as we put this one together. So that is going to wrap around that way, which means we want that to be... So this is me working out where I want, although actually it makes no difference because I've got the same fabric. I don't have a, a colorway fabric or anything like that, so that actually makes no difference whatsoever. What I do, do want to look at is if you have a um, fabric that is right sides up, you do want to come through and play the game of, okay, so that one's going to sit there. So that one's going to sit there. And, and just make sure that your colours are the right side up. Okay. So, what we have... is our first colourway. Which is going to show us where we are going to place our covers. Now, extra day off this week. What's everyone going to do? And if you're a Melbourneite, you get two in a row. Okay, so what we are going to do, and I'm going to work this way because I want the bulk out on this side of me. We take our first piece and I line it up with, oh, sorry guys. I take my first piece and I line it up here and I line it up along here. Now, keep your finger on the stop start button because that will allow you to make changes if you need to as you go along. through the second side and what I want to do here to make it easier on myself is I fold that inside and out of the way and then And I always have more trouble with going backwards than going forwards. But the joy of it is that the core is going to take all of that up. So it's really not an issue. The next colorway is going to show us where we are going to lay out the So Shaz is going to her bonus daughters to celebrate her birthday. Oh, that's lovely. 
Making the cake as a present, that's a lovely present. I am now on the rush to get things finished for the Queensland Craft and Cook Fair. But I'm thinking Hubs and I might have to go out for a bit of a walk or something just to just to get out of the house, just to so I'm taking my cork and laying it over the outline. Girls had yesterday off, so we um, we went and bought everything that we need for this cruise that we're going on, just a five day. we trim okay so and it's hard to see the actual line here when you're trimming what you want to be aware of is to leave this little bit extra here that's going to come into um, the lining and just support the cork spine and because most of us um, don't have the ability to cut straight across there and it's certainly not one of my skills like I'm not saying I have anything that's better or worse than anyone else so that's one side And just make sure you don't cut through the main fabric or the main stitching. I'm always really surprised. Like it's one of those um, one of those things. I like. I love these squeezy scissors because they are just such good trimmers. Um, but the the biggest issue that we've had when we've taught the smaller cork. Um, notebook is that it um, people just don't trim close enough and
So now we're on the second side. together in the multi-tonal.
the design is going to come through and we are going to put our um, last piece of lining down. Now, you can use Colorway 6 to stitch out a, um, a line showing you where to do this or you can just lay your fabric over and stitch that through. It's whichever way makes you more comfortable. We've included a unit in there for people who aren't um, feeling confident with their stitching. And let's come over to our handwork station. Let's see what we've got. So, this is our design. And I can come to it. And the new all wrap excess stabilizer. Okay, put 
that just a little bit out of the way there. Until next time, no guys.